Yeah. So what's new? How is Serbia treating you? Oh, this is new? I mean, those are, those are those, uh, <laughs> the temporary ones. You know, the ones that you oh, can... Oh, those are the ones that... those for like the next two days. Those right? are the ones that they dissolve after four days. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last time, as soon as I came back from the first bite I took, they, they fell off. Like, oh, man. So now I'm just like eating soup and shit. Oh, oh. oh you're going to lose some weight coming back. Then I look skinny. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> so, oh, hey, let's. Uh, we gotta wait for for Keon. So, and and, and in the meantime, One second, let me, uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Here, where are you going, Chris? Chris fine. What do you say? What did you say? I don't know. It was a glare coming in. It was bothering the shit. Oh. oh. Ah. The blinds. Let's talk about a. Hey, let's talk about the uh, flex weekend in Italy. Yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to one of our listeners that listen every week. He's going through some health issues. His name is Rodney, and I, I know his wife from my dry cleaners place. I uh -huh. Give a shout out to Rodney. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. There's there's uh, there's a new yeah. two twelve yeah. the new two twelve sensation. Who's about to do something crazy? I have a feeling. What's up? <laughs> I have a feeling. Hey, What's up, champ? Howdy. Nothing much. How y'all guys doing? Good, good. Do, do, if you can, try, if you can, turn your camera sideways. Okay. Because then we get you in full picture because I want to see both your shoulders. You're looking kind of flat right now, but all right. <laughs> so, champ. First of all, thanks for making the time. You know, I know uh, you know we be about what seven weeks out to the Olympia, seven and a half weeks, and yeah, seven uh, and a half. And uh, so it seems like uh, you guys are brewing something that's gonna that's gonna be uh, uh, kind of crazy. I mean, looking at you the last few years, I mean, you got better every year, but it seems like this year, I mean, if you guys can really nail it at the Olympia, this year is gonna be the year where you really are pushing. Um, um, Sean Clarita for that title, I have a feeling. I really yeah, do. Brand, like, just working hard every day. The goal is always to be 5% better to each show. And I know I know, as long as I beat my last package each show, I know I'm getting closer to that. You yeah. know, well, so when, when, when you look at yourself now, let's see, let's, let's look at the last show that you won. When you look at this show, what do you think you need to improve on? What, do you, what needs to get better for you to order to get that, you know, to, to win that title? Um, conditions always need to be better, for sure. Uh -huh. um, you know, I just don't have that maturity as Sean does, and those other guys does. If I believe I am probably the youngest guy in the lineup. I'm 28. Everybody else pretty much up there. So mm. I'm going through a lot of maturity right now. So for me, I have to come at my best condition. Yeah. And wherever the cards fall, that's where it falls. Right. But for sure, condition, and I can use a little bit more fullness. Um, we came a little bit tad flat for Texas Pro Upper Body. Uh, but my legs were pretty much in for the most part. So now we're just yeah. focused on having that right balance to bring that, you know, the so, best physique. So what what are you changing? What, what are you doing that you haven't done before from now to the Olympia? I mean, honestly, really is nothing. I think it's just it's just time at this point. It's just keep dieting. Mm. You know, I know some people I know people say the more you diet, the diet, the better you get. And that's kind of where we're at at this point. And with me having such a very lean off season this year, it mm -hmm. set me up for a really successful, you know, prep for Texas Pro. And even now, you know, I didn't really rebound much after Texas Pro, so I'm in a very great position. Um, so, yeah, honestly, nothing changed. We're still doing the same thing. Yeah. Just more just just still dieting. I think this is the way it should be. I mean, an off season for a professional athlete should not be full blown fat, fat, watery. You should look like ready to guest pose any day and, and on a short notice call. And this is when you can see when you make changes. When you look at the body, you know, a lot of people, you can't judge your physique when you're off, when you're fat. You have to yeah. wait till you're in shape where you can see, okay, I need a little bit more of this, I need more of that, I need more thickness in my back or whatever. And then if you stay somewhat lean, that's when you can see you making changes. You know what I'm saying? It's easier than getting all fat, hoping when you diet down that the changes are there. 
You know, so right. you have better control. I, 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 I like that. I like that. You know, that's. Well, well, let, let me put it this way. I mean, uh, Chris and I did like 72 shows, and Dennis, you did 50 something, right? Uh, no. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think I did 39 pro shows. Yeah, and I, I do know that uh, when we work together, I mean, you were you were busy, you yeah. were competing all the time. So, as as you said, there is no such a thing as off season. Mm -hmm. That O W O double up F, <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't work, you know. So, Kian, you have that beautiful physique. That listen, Kamal El Gardney, uh, last weekend, if you if you uh, watch the podcast. He says, if Kian nails it, show is over. It's over for I everybody. Mean, yeah, that, that's how he sees it. And he's still considering competing. And he was former champion. We all know for a couple of years what you can bring and if you bring. But I'll tell you this. Maybe you don't realize. You have a that deep, deep separation. You can actually create the illusion of even better condition than you are. But if this kind of body, with this kind of separation, gets in crazy condition... Then 100% show is over. Mm. As as much as I love uh, uh, Sean Clarita, he doesn't have your width, he doesn't have your V taper, he doesn't have that uh, structure of yours that can get, be exploited in so many ways. Is anybody in the 212 that has anywhere near his structure? I don't see. I don't see anybody. Well, okay. I think when he hits that front double bicep, that's like. That's, yeah. uh, I mean, no one can really hit that type of structural size. Hmm. I mean, I, I'd like to see you utilizing your legs more in some of these poses and switching. I just think you could utilize your body more because you have, you know, instead of having your legs just straight up and down like the other guys and you have this beautiful lat to weight to waist uh, differential. And plus, I mean, just if you look at this, Keon, if your weakness has been not really physical, more like conditional wise, I would concentrate on that during the off season and come back. Like if you're going to do this is a, a sport, but it's also you want to see your absolute best up there. And I feel like if you, that's the only thing you need to do is that. And uh, so, so, really so Chris, so give him, give him your, uh, what, what would your advice be to Keon to what to do from now? Because I'm sure he diet super hard. I'm sure I watch him train super hard. So yeah. there, there's no, there's no issues there. What is right. it that you would, what would you tell him <clears throat> to do that would help well, him as, as you, get that as last body, little bit of condition? Yeah, as uh, I think I would uh, even grill that that posing even more. So just try to shed off a little bit more with with the posing. Mm -hmm. That's gonna that's gonna help your conditioning and your isometrics of your body. You're gonna you're gonna create more density with uh, with doing that. Like, you know, leave those, you know, just put more time into that. And I guarantee you, you would see more so your physique. <clears throat> you have, uh, um, and and I think, I think a lot of guys are in this sport at this time, they are looking for glutes, glutes, glutes. And I just feel like you got so much more to offer than just trying to striate some glutes and try to just utilize the, the beauty of your physique. And, you know, I don't think no one has uh, your absolute beauty of your physique. And I think you use that as your, your advantage. And uh, but, but Chris, Chris, are you saying he should copy some of your poses and leg positions? Because yeah, 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 I, yeah I, I mean, I would. I would say it, <laughs> it would, the thing is, though, I worked hard from a teenager on that type of stuff. I worked hard, you know, with shit, Gary Stridham and uh, Robbie Robinson, super hard on that stuff. And also, even when I'm at, I'm at home, you know, when I'm just laying down, I'm working on that, my the upper quads, the all that stuff, get that sartorius, sartorius muscle so prominent. That's, that's what I would do. Um, and you develop more of my muscle connection actually helps you with your training. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but keep on. His you levels. Do, good. You have a similar quads, similar legs to, to Chris. You have. You say what now? You have a very similar, crazy, great, world-class legs like Chris Cormier. So Chris was doing uh, 
you know, uh, feet together like you do in many poses, yeah. but he stick that leg out in a, in a frontal biceps, then last spread, land the Murray style. both legs. Utilizing both legs in yeah. each pose. Yeah, that's something I definitely want to incorporate more. I know when I do a lot of my front shots, I am pretty straight on the sides to pose where I actually like stick my arm up like this. I actually slant my quads a little bit more, but I, I have a little bit, a lot more adductor now. So I know I do need to be able to showcase that more in my uh, front shots for sure. Yeah, so but I definitely... Keon, by no means are we saying you're not looking good with your feet together. I mean, don't don't think that. You know, I think Chris, oh, no, 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 Chris no, no, is no, no, just no. probably telling you to try that and see how good you look when you do that, you know? Because yeah. yeah. Not every, so not even more so. Because not everything somebody else is doing would look good on you, you know? You're going to have to try. You have to try. Milos, have to beat, Milos you know? what would you what, what would you tell him from now to the Olympia to do to get that crazy condition that he needs to bring? Well, well, listen. I mean, he said something like, "Okay, he was maybe not as full. You don't need to be full. No, you're big enough, full enough." Uh, Kian, trust me, you're a monster. Mm -hmm. You're a beautiful monster. Okay, so if you have to uh, choose a little bit more uh, fullness, a little bit more conditioning, just go for conditioning. Yeah, it's, it's no question about balance. it. Hey, my, my, uh, us, um, Milos, and the balance of the body parts to body parts keep that intact. I don't have anything like your know, shoulders get like astronomically big and it kind of takes away from your chest. Like try to keep all keep all that as balanced as possible. And like I said, you got the 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 you got everything. So just go for more balance and 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 uh utilizing those poses. Go ahead, Milos. <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah, cut I mean, you don't cut you off and now he's telling you I to go ahead. That. <laughs> I, I, I have <laughs> <laughs> feel free. All, all of you guys feel free because I jump in uh, all the time. <laughs> Carrie Bajo is a legitimate uh, contender, okay? Mm -hmm. And because uh, you say who would be, you know, he has a, not your structure, but wider structure than uh, Sean Clarita. And he gets in a crazy condition and he has a thickness, uh, fullness with all the stuff. So he's going to be contender. Uh, you and Carrot at your know, all time best. You know, you guys are going to be battling. You know, we like your shape a little bit better, of course. You have that little edge. You have that something, wow, like uh, Flex Wheeler had, like Chris Cormier had. I, I think, uh, you know, Andrew Jack or, or uh, Samson. There is always, uh, you know, that little extra that all things equal, that shape is going to, you know, move you up. Right. 100%. But anyway, we are not telling you to ride the horse. That uh, that stupid stance, you know, when <laughs> when you put your feet out, you know, your legs look perfect. Who but I know hey, exactly who. who uh, when uh, Chris Cremier, he shows that long muscle sartorius, uh, yeah. uh, so catchy. He probably caught. Hey, he probably caught a cramp one time. I had to straighten that leg out, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, damn! That should look better than I thought. Let's keep that up." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. I th I think this is the year where because it's sometimes you know even with the new coach you've been working with Patrick now for how long? Um, since last year, uh, Tampa Pro. So yeah. it's been about a year now. Yeah, so so sometimes it takes some time for him to get to know your <laughs> body. You know, it, it's it's not you know I, I don't like to see some people change coaches six weeks out from a show and then another coach takes over oh, yeah. and then the guy wins and then they're going to give it to the new coach that was the old coach's work you know what i'm saying so now he had the time 100 you know what i'm saying chris right so 100%. so now you had this whole year and you guys you already improved last year to the olympia you know i mean from the year before you ended up in fucking what 14th or something yeah. You don't even, let's not even talk about this no more. So, and, and, and that's something that should never happen with a guy with a physique like yours. It's kind of like, you remind me of a flex wheeler. You don't have to be 100% to stand out, you know? Yeah. But yeah. if you're 100%, you lights out, game over. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and that's why, but this what Milo said, I totally agree. Don't worry about being full. You are full. Even if you're flat, flat for you is full for others. Yeah, you, just you, on the muscle bellies. Right, you have those. You have those bellies that others don't have. Maybe Sean Clarita, but in a, in a smaller way next right. to you. You know what I'm saying? So full. Yeah. Don't worry about fullness too much because 
Once you risk that thinking, oh, you got to stay full, got to stay full, that's when people don't get rid of the water, and, and then you're, you're, you're there, but you're not really quite there yet. You know also, also, Dennis, I want to say, uh, Keanu, <clears throat> you got to absolutely believe that you are the best mm -hmm. to actually obtain, the, to, to, to obtain that title because Sean believes he's the best. Right. The people who won that big thing, they actually believed it in their heart that they are the best. So it's a mindset that you have to carry throughout your training, throughout the days leading up to it, um, a weeks uh, leading up to it. And um, that's what you, you have to wholeheartedly believe that. Yeah, that's one thing I uh, actually worked on a lot this offseason was to believe that walk like a champion, train like a champion, eat like a, just everything, just just like a champion. You Whatever know? you have to do. Whatever not going to them yeah. like I'm already in Olympia. That's just my mindset because that's the only way I will be able to win. Because you have to have that mindset, you know. Because he's trying to hold the title. I'm, I'm, I'm chasing, so I have to have that mentality. So that's pretty much what I, I train my mind to be. And now that's pretty much what it is every day. And it feels, it feels good. You know, I can go to bed knowing that I did everything 200 percent and wake up and do it all over again. Mm -hmm. So no, that's okay. where we. You gotta know it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been saying this for a couple of years now. I said if he ever nails it, this is something that uh, you know. There's only guy. There's only there would have been only one guy in the 212 with similar shape than him that would have been dangerous if he would still be in the 212. But he's in the open. That's Derek Lunsford. Yeah. That would that would have been the only guy that can stand with you toe to toe if you guys both in shape when it comes to the front double. When you open up, because he opens up the same, that will be the only one, and he's in the open. I even, I even want to go so far as, if you ever nail it, where's your weight? Is, are you just in the limit at the limit? Yeah, right now I'm. Um, I was two hundred nine point one this morning. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going so far that even if you get, if you nail it, and you compete in the open, you win shows in the open too. Man, you were a lot lighter. You gained a bunch of weight then, because you were hey. a lot lighter <laughs> when I first met you. So I mean, yeah, yeah, I was I was in classic. I was like a hundred and uh, probably like seventy nine pounds when I met you. You were a lot lighter. Shit. Yeah, it was two thousand nineteen. Was... I saw you at uh, uh Venice. It, yeah, I, I think I was probably like hundred and eighty pounds around that time. Yeah. That was two thousand nineteen. Yeah. But you went like, from two twelve. You went to two from two twelve to classic back to two twelve, right? Classic to two twelve. Yeah, he did classic. He did classic first. You don't remember? He started in classic. Classic. Yeah, actually, that I did did analyze. Uh, he he uh, did he did pretty he did pretty well in classic too. Was fifth, right? Fifth first year. Uh, fourth. Fourth. Well, he's right. always had the genetic potential to do great, so he was always yeah. going to consider. It's just when you take that next step to actually like, no, I'm not I'm not settling for anything less than what I came here for. That's when you'll you'll get it. Mm. That's what I. Dennis, yes. Okay, you, you heard about this uh, Keon in open. If Keon did the Texas Pro, uh, could he place uh, third? Um, it was this uh, Hunter. Who was third? Yes, Carlos. Yes, third. yes. And if he would have been in super in crazy condition. He will challenge, yeah. and, and all see, all smaller shows. Yeah, all he will I, challenge for a time. Do you they're, think they're, one day you might want to go into the open, Keon? Uh two hundred percent. I want I want to end my career in open, but you know, like I said, I always tell people that I always ask me right. the goal is to, to finish off in two twelve first and get the job done, then then have some fun in the open yeah. category. But it's hey, going to happen. Hey, did anybody see the new video of Hardy? It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Crazy. Bro. I, I, it might the light helps a little bit, yeah. But his back double looked like he put on fucking two slaps of fucking muscle in his back. It's yeah, uh, it's yeah. Cool. But you know, being ripped to shreds, we already know. We already seen that out of him. I know, but he looks bigger. Oh, he looks bigger. Oh, but I know that's what I'm saying. So that was that was kind of missing the last year. But mm. to win the title and still, we saw so much more graininess out of him yeah. before. And that's gonna be shit. That's that's tough. Man. He looks like uh, ten days out, and and he looks ten pounds heavier. So oh, full, at least he looks ten pounds heavier. I mean, his back double biceps looks fucking crazy right now, and and that's what a lot of people uh, complained about last year. You like that shot? Huh? 
Huh? That's <laughs> That's some shots fired from him. Oh, like, like, uh, well, you know. uh, uh, missiles fired. He let people know. No, no, no. <laughs> he, fired, he let go on some. <laughs> he let go on some missiles. I was like, damn, his <laughs> chest is all the way through striated already. Great. That's crazy. So what does that tell you? I mean, uh, he won Vancouver Pro, you know, back in 2019, right? Yeah. And he was qualified for both. And Keon, this is for you to to consider. So he could enter two travel open. He uh, chose with that body, with that conditioning, to go and open, place third, as you know, and uh, it's now a champion. Derek Lansford did, uh, you know, pretty much the same thing. That's where we see you as well. Yeah. Not this year for sure. Uh, maybe not even the next year, but God knows uh, how your body progressed. Look. Your profession is, you're a pro bodybuilder and you're damn good. You're one of those few that have that something extra. Don't get into the off season and relaxing and taking your time off and whatever else. Two days after the, the show, don't take those two two months rest. Go right back into the gym. Yeah. Your, your, you. your prep starts for the next year. Yeah, that's pretty much how I look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, I watched you, I watched you this year. I could see how serious you took since last year's Olympia, all the way now to Texas and now the Olympia. Because you post training stuff, you know, you 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 active, you know. I honestly just gained my after that 14th place. It just after I had to recuperate and just really like get my mind right and and everything. Mm. That just like really set the trigger off for me to where I just I just I need to lock in, I need to lock in, and ever since then. Um, my mind's actually, my mindset just been different. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Do all you can, man. Do all you can at this age. It's, uh, you're getting into the rightful age of your maturity. Yeah. is going to be starting to set in closer to that 30 mark. Yeah. And, uh, just do whatever you can do. To wasn't, maybe, wasn't okay. Keon the one that said he's going to retire at 30? Hope not. Uh, I was talking noise back then. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. I've, been, I've, been, I've been hearing that for so long, man. I, 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 I was going through some crazy shit mentally, man. And oh, okay. That, okay. You know, I wish I never ever voiced. And listen, um, people, I I, people, I was, people go, go, to, go to social media. Yeah, people say things and listen. Are, people say I'm things right. and, and, and you can change. You can change. You listen, we do it all the time. I say something and next heart. week, next week I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, say. but it's just a lesson learned when you just in that vulnerable moment is not go straight to Instagram or to yeah. see how you feel. No, you don't mean it. I think I did questions or something like that. That's just new school style, man. <laughs> yeah. So, no, there's no retiring, no time soon for me. This is my job. This is my career. And yeah, I'll be here for a long time, as long as I'm helping. So, we'll be here. Yeah, awesome. Did any, let's talk with guys. Let's talk about the uh, the Flex Weekend real quick. But last weekend, we saw, uh, first of all, <laughs> that we, saw, we saw Blessing called um, Regan for a bet $5,000 who beats who. I don't. Uh -huh. I don't think this was about who wins. It was about who beats who. Right? Did I get that right? Who beats who? Well, that, that was that was all all together. Yeah, who beats who? Yeah. But they they were both uh, uh, gunning for for victory. Obviously, I understand that. But it's, yeah. it's like it because just, because both tired. both won. Yeah. Who? So so it was uh, it was you know we all couldn't wait to see this what what happens and it was a two man race. I have to say it wasn't even three. Yeah, you know, yeah. it looked like you know. Let's talk about blessing here for a second. Blessing was I think his condition was great. I hated his stand. He stood from the front like, I all, all, made me want to so made, made me want to kick a field goal. I swear to God. Why so, is he so it, far apart? It, 
Right. I think when I he does this, that, he's just trying to get that illusion to make his legs bigger. Now, now Keon, have a weak, Keon, when you have an imbalance in that's, your legs, that's yeah. not thinking. Yeah, that's can. that's an amateurish thinking. You thinking like an amateur? You think you can stand like this and the judges think, "Oh, look at that quad sweep." No, it don't. Oh, it don't. There's so fuck, there's, that's what he's thinking. That's that's what I'm saying, and I think this is oh, yeah. if if he thought that way, then that's amateurish, because you can't. It's just like another thing that I hate, and a lot of people. I think Chris used to do that too. When you do a front latch spread, you pull your trunks all the way up to make you think yeah, people yeah. you think people are people are stupid that they can't see that you fucking pulling your trunks up under your nipple. <laughs> my trunks are never under my nipple. <laughs> my, my, yeah. And my torso is about an inch longer than what I would like it to be. I know, but Chris, so once you, I was Chris, balancing out my physique a little bit. More. You're balancing out, and the judges see that. Did you think they don't know that you're pulling up the hey, trunks? Man, it fed me well. My <laughs> no, you didn't, Chris. Chris, you didn't even need to do it. Yeah, but yeah. I see. Yeah, I still. The thing okay. myself. This, you. this is what pisses me off. I can't stand that shit. Now, another thing that I don't understand. There's still. There's still bodybuilders today. I'm going in right now. There's still bodybuilders today. Touching their glutes. First. That, yeah, when you do back shot, <laughs> touching their glutes That's and hamstrings <laughs> to see if my shit's in. Listen, if it's <laughs> not in. <laughs> everyone's doing that. Though. And what about the the time? You only have a certain amount of time to even hit the shot. It makes me and fucking you crazy. Rubbing up your up and down your thigh like the judge yeah. Said, like hey, listen, I mean, down. it's different when you do what Chris used to do. You point out here, it's coming right here. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you turn around and you have to you have to check your glutes, check your hamstrings, make sure it's in. Listen, if you don't know how to pose, then you know helping with your hand is not possible. So those are the things that I can't stand. But listen. People still do it. I think this is amateurish. People that come from amateur ring still do it as a pro. At the end of the day, it's it's it, the judges didn't know, you know. So and and this is for me that was te terrible when Blessing stood there, and I think this is what cost him the most. I think if he would have stood normal, maybe he would have got you know fourth, maybe maybe even third. Who knows? He had some, he had some impressive shots. Yes, from that, some impressive shots. But you, but you can't go on stage standing like this, man. Not on the pro stage, man. Come on. Listen, another thing, now that you're mentioning things you hate, <laughs> I hate, I hate the things when, when they, uh, to act confident, but they, they act arrogant and they go, oh, every pose, oh, yeah. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh this one. Oh, call him out. Yeah, that's, that's, name, name, that's so bad. Name the name. You know? Name the name. Come on, call him out. Uh, uh, pretty much everybody is doing it now. They <laughs> think this is thing because that shows the confidence. That's not a confidence. That's a cock. <laughs> but, and uh, yeah, you see your pose. You don't have to wave your head. See that? Yeah, like, but that does that does that doesn't bother do. that doesn't bother me at all when somebody feels. It that bothers me. It. You know, I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so, listen. Uh, Blessing, blessing looked uh, very much improved. Uh, yes. Where did he go? Well, he'll probably, uh, we'll probably lost him. He's, he'll be back. Yeah, he's going to be back. Uh, so he looks very much improved from the last show. I mean, you got to give it to him. Yes. You even caught me a look at his conditioning. Conditioning was getting on. I don't think he was as good on the stage as those pictures a few days out. Yep. You know, but but he was good. And then he was fading for the, fi for the finals. You know, he was back, not, back. I told three numbers. Yeah. So the Chinese guys, uh, Chinese guy overtake him. Yeah, he moved. Uh, he moved in from sixth, seventh, all the way to fourth. Yeah. Freak. Tank, you were you were impressed. Yes. Roman looked great. I think that Roman is uh, putting the size on slowly. It's mind-boggling to me that he had a uh, two hip replacements, not one but two. No, it's just and one. Had, I think I think it, I think it was just one. Yeah, we went uh, one, two, one, two, and then I heard it's uh, two. Uh -huh. But even if it's one, yeah. I mean, how can you possibly have a? That's some of the best legs out there. Yeah, but here's here's you know? here's the thing with Roman. I don't think he's putting the size on. He's not losing it no more. He has a metabolism that is out of this world, and he usually I see I mean, him I see him leading up to shows. He's he's big, full, round, hard, and then he ends up on stage being half the size. And he just he's lost it. Seventy something, huh? I mean, he's two seventy something. Yeah, I mean, you know, he still has body parts that need to come up, especially the arms. But you know, he's coming into his own now. That's and, and, and back. Yeah. yeah, he needs all that 
but he's improving. He's Olympia qualified and now doing all the shows. Okay. And when you're uh, ready like this at all times, why don't you compete and right. just test? You know, get uh, uh, hey guys, say hello to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Milos, so tell us what happened. Uh, what, what, what did? You, how did you see Reagan? And yeah, our... well, put it say, okay, I, I'm coaching Reagan, and uh, I'm, uh, you know, one of his biggest fans. As, as far as I love his physique, everything about uh, that physique, you know, uh, we want to bring you know to the top. Uh, what was about Regan up until this point? He is not big enough. He is not Olympia big, right? So he took some time off, pack on some size, and I was also, uh, is he going to deliver that size on the stage or not, right? Because how many times do you heard, oh, go back to classic, or, you know, he just doesn't have a Olympia size. I was the first one told him back in 2021. I was anticipating when he's going to be on Olympia stage, and then I see, like, yeah, he did lack that fullness, thickness, you know, width uh, of some of, of the guys. So I think it was a very right call to pass on those shows, and now it showed up. We didn't bring 100% conditioning, you know, and uh, we were going to play safe, and then something happened that, uh, uh, yeah, we had to go into the panic mode just to look good, good enough. And I think he pulled it off. Did he spill he, over? What? He probably spilled over. He didn't spill over. It just, uh, uh, okay, you guys seen it. Um, Keon, you probably don't have that issue. But uh, uh, when they put the uh, uh, tan, a lot of guys, you know, get considerably uh, worse just from putting a tan. But some actually get some reaction. And mm -hmm. uh, and I, probably if uh, Regan agree with it, to, to post the pictures, even though he posts everything. But could it be? Could it be because he shaved last minute? He shaved the last minute. I, I told him that's oh, that's to... that's why he had the reaction. You don't do that. Listen, I told him that five days ago, before the show, three days ago, and two days ago. Yeah. And I'm calling him on the day of the show, and his girlfriend is shaving him. I said, "What the hell?" The worst, the worst you know, thing. The if you, if... listen, seriously. So the, 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 there was a panic mode. That we had to do something, and he looked he looked great. I, I'm gonna tell you this: if his stand was good, because stand was all over the place, yeah, terrible. It was way too much oil. You said seeing those videos from final show, which oh finals finals was 30 minutes later. Mm -hmm. Pre judging finish, they walk up the stage, they call top five man physique, I'm they call top five that, bikini. Good. So it's 30 minutes. So the only thing they told him fix the goddamn tan, right? But he still had a too much oil. So if you're just slightly off and you have a fuck up tan and too much oil, that's going to make you look actually softer. Mm -hmm. So if you do really look in, uh, look at him from the back and a uh, hamstring glutes, he was quite close and quads there, right? He didn't have it here, you know? So, of course, he's going against Nathan again. And... Uh, I actually thought that if they compare him a couple more times at the finals, I was just hoping for that because at the finals, you know, his uh, collar was on and everything was on. I think it was, uh, uh, he could give him hell. And look, Nathan came drier, more conditioned and dance, you know, and he's complete. Doesn't have a weak uh, poses. He, he hits some poses that nobody likes, like frontal biceps. You know, nobody can possibly like uh, the way he hits it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know. <laughs> when he when he's hitting those shots on the, on the gram, and he's playing with his back and he's super confident like that, I felt like he tried to do something similar to that, but it didn't turn out like that. Mm. Did you see that? <laughs> so they, they say, could it go other way? I'm sure if it went uh, to the to uh, uh, Regan. There, were, there won't be too much complaints. Yes, he was better conditioned, but still, shape, uh, shape is overwhelmingly to a uh, uh, Regan side. And then size nowadays. I mean, Roman Fritz was standing right next to uh, Nathan Diash at the uh, at, uh, lineup, and I don't know if he watched it. You know, he, you know, probably uh, looked bigger. Yeah, I, I I I thought so too, but it uh, but in in Nathan's defense, Roman was closer to the camera, but but yeah. still, but Roman is tall, he's wide, you know, mm -hmm. he has, 
he has good shots and he has shots that are not so good, especially from the side and from the back. Nathan has this, and, and, and it showed next to those guys, it showed he has this super thin skin. Yeah. Especially on the side of the leg, it looked like it was see-through. You know, it, it, and, and this is where I said, and I, and I was honest. I, I, I talked to Milos during pre-judging and after pre-judging, and I told Milos, I said, after pre-judging, I have Nathan winning. And it was simply because I saw the, the, the color from Regan was terrible. I mean, he, the back was light. The, there was light. There was dark. It was terrible. And, and after he fixed his tan and then you sent me that video, it was, too diff, it was a total different ball game. So, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, I think if he would have done, if he would have had the color right from the get-go, yeah. maybe, maybe. So you know, Nathan still got him on conditioning. Yes. Nathan conditioned Nathan's con condition was mind-boggling. I mean, uh, tight, dry, lean, dense. He was the you only one. He was, yeah, he was the only one when he did when, for a real lat spread. He was the only one with zero wrinkles in the lower back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, you said you you got he got uh, Regan from the back. You know, I, I uh, challenge you to watch again his lower body. I mean, his legs are very thin from the back. And uh, it just, it just watch. So if you look for that balance first, right? And Regan is tight from the back, and Regan has that shape from the back. And well, look, yeah, I like I like we Regan's uh, that right hamstring that he pulls out. Yeah, but I mean, but I see it way better at certain times than I see others. I don't see him bringing it to the stage like that. Yeah. Like I like I never <laughs> can sometimes. Do you know? You ever notice that? Milos? It's but it's mostly it's mostly uh, almost every athlete About is what? the same. That he doesn't bring the on stage. I mean, sometimes I see that right hamstring pull out, and I know he's proud of it because I know a lot of people don't have that. But Crazy. I don't, I don't see it, you know, you know, spill out what on he, the stage. Yeah, what he's saying, it doesn't come across like that on stage. Right, right. It was pretty good. It was pretty good this time. I, I don't know if you pay attention. You know, well, we forgot. Again, I, for, I, I, I forgot we're yeah. talking to his coach. I've seen this super crazy before yeah. at different yeah. times. No, different listen, times no, listen, Reagan was 100% much improved, is on the right track. He needs to get better conditioned in order to win those shows. Yeah. If, he, if, if, if Reagan, Reagan reminds me of a, of a Keon now, if they bring that condition, Regan, with the size he has now, if he gets super peeled, he's a factor at the Olympia. To f to make no mistake. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet from Regan. But the good, well, but know, the good thing is he he put the size on and he didn't lose it going into the show like he always did before. So that's a good thing. So you guys are on the right track. I think you guys, do you, do you, think you guys have that more, winning formula, huh? Do you think he need more size like that front lat spread and stuff like that? Do you feel like he need more size than that that pose? Or do you feel, I feel like he had almost. Olympia. I think he had like almost. Uh, I don't know. Like he was like so much thickness up here that it was kind of taken away from the actual shape when it came to. Uh, last spread. To Nathan, yeah, the front last spread. You know. I don't know if the chest was. It was something like hella, hella swollen yeah. in that front last spread that was like. With not much lap, but it was like a lot up in here. Keon, what do you think? What do you think? Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. Maybe he was struggling maybe too much on the last spread, or maybe he was leaning a little bit too far was on the front last spread. I mean, he looked really huge. But yeah, I watched it pretty, pretty close. How how did you see it, though? How did you see it? As far as the poses or the show? No, show. A, 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 as far as Nathan and Regan, one and two. If you had the judge. Um... I'm just a, I'm a huge fan of rigging shape and just the structure and and his bellies just because you know mm -hmm. of myself I just like those type of physiques but as far as winning I mean Nathan was just much dense that's his wow factor his density is his wow factor mm -hmm. um, and I don't the, and, think, and the condition on top of it yeah and, and the condition made him look even more gnarly he just has so much freaking muscle yeah it's kind of hard to compete with. but I, right. I but I see what Minos is saying I I, I get it. And if Nathan, I mean, if Regan gets in the condition that Nathan had, Na Regan wins 10 out of 10 yeah, times. That's, that's, 10 out of 10 times. 
Yeah, 100%. I yeah. mean, uh, and that's what we're hoping for, of course. We have a one week to do it. Uh, Regan is motivated, but... Uh, so what are you doing from... What are you doing from, What are you doing from last week to, to this weekend? I mean, we're going to go low carbs, not zero carbs, uh. you know, because he's doing a shitload of cardio now, too, you know, because uh, if you have a few days to do it... Yeah, so... Zero carbs would drive you to ketosis, right? And then you're fat adapted and all this shit. But if you have, when you have a, you know, a little time, it's not really worth it. And it's not deplete to supercompensate because when you supercompensate, you push too much carbs and then you can spill over. Mm -hmm. we, we can't afford that. So I, I gave him some carbs, right? And uh, So when you, you say, know, so how, how much in, in grams? About like 150. A day. 150, you okay. know. Uh, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. when when you when you beat me in Canada that time, I fucking I shaved that fucking Friday. <laughs> oh, you come to excuse? I knew something was happening. No, what I'm saying is, look, look, what I'm shut up. <laughs> Thank God you did. What no, I'm is, listen, yeah. what I'm saying is, like I was in I was in customs for like four hours. I was pissed off. I wanted to go back home already. By the time I got to the house where I was staying, and it was just, it was, it, it wasn't on my mind to even shave. And then all of a sudden, I didn't even shave yet. Uh, did you I shave? Did shaving. you shave with the razor? Yes. Oh, that's so. You can't do that. I know. I know. If you I, use, I if you use the clipper the day before, you're I fine. I know all these. But things. once you open, but once you open it, messed me up. Once I you, was, my mind was uh, messed up. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was in a country where I, I didn't have all the stuff I wanted. I was, I didn't want to bring nothing over the border over there either. <laughs> At that time, there was, there was uh, really anal about that, and then, uh, you know, using the that that razor that messed me up. And I'm well, it under... open opens up the pores. That damn yeah. tan goes in there, yeah. and you can get it. You get it. You automatically get a reaction. Yeah. So most since, since most that time, I start making sure by that Wednesday, I'm using shears, and it don't matter if you have a little stubble. No one's gonna. It's exactly. never gonna make a difference to have a little bit of stubble. Exactly. But I think a lot of guys try to get every little bit of hair off. And you know that's a mistake. Yeah. Hey, I there, tell you, my mistake once. I, I think it was uh, ninety-two night of champions. You know how when you go to the uh, tanning booth, and then you tan, and then you come out, and there is always a mirror. Did, yeah. And and you are fucking dry and vascular and all this shit. Like, oh man, it's like it was night of champions, and I, and I found like tanning salon close to the uh -huh. to the peak and theater. <laughs> and I go there you like, uh, redo it. one hour before, right? So, like, oh man, I'm on like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but when I came, you know, it was like water. Uh, you know, come on. <laughs> That's how it was a water path. Yeah. 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 I mean, shaving but, but it, and, and tanning, sun, sun. Yeah. It's the worst thing. If your skin is not used to it, they're going to react. It's going to react and, and hold water. It's, that's what happens. It happened to me, and it happened to everybody. Had to go through it one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would never use it as an excuse why I lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You know, Chris, thank you for shaving on Friday. <laughs> thank you for Saturday. Next but Friday. I was wondering, I was wondering, was that something like that you were saying with Regan? Did he do something? Did he use a razor? Did he use clippers? No, actually. The the video that I've seen, first he didn't want to post. You, you know he didn't huh? want to post for you there in a uh, torture gym, which I think was a mistake. I really think that all of us uh, should exchange you know opinions and and. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could help in any. Two weeks subject. out, you should want to pose in front of everyone, especially. I, I, I wanted to see him that day, you know. So he didn't shave all the way until uh, he was going to Europe, and I was on him. Hey, man, don't wait for the last minute. And then on Monday, I say, man, what are you waiting for? And Tuesday, and, you know, this is basically what happened. But, uh, uh, yeah, no excuses. Uh, look, Regan doesn't have that uh, uh, straighted, super hard look in uh, Brachialis and, uh, you know, the, the Italians that appears, uh, uh, you know, deeply cut already. So if he is not in a crazy condition, this doesn't look like, oh, he's from the front, super lean. His legs can be separated, like down crazy. He can be super deep, right? But it's stomach needs to be deeper with this middle line, right? Intercostals, yeah. Chest, I would like to see more fibers. 
you know, from the back, it's a different story. He is up and down. He has uh, stations everywhere. But he starts the show from the front, right? And that's where you have to uh, impress the judges. So front double biceps it was not his strongest shot. I think he's improved that shot big time. You know? A last I'm not sure, uh, Chris, what you mean, that you don't maybe like his... Then he looks phenomenal. When chest is a little what? bit flat... No, I said, I know if he was like kind of, it was thick. He was thick. I just don't know if it was, if it was something, I don't know if his traps was popping. It was something. It was just like, if you go back and look at the last spread, I just thought, I don't know if it took away from his shape at all or whatever, but I don't know if it's because he was just so much heavier or something. Was he heavier? Or was he just thicker? Or he was, what? Yeah, he was. Because he, uh, <laughs> he kind of blew up that last few days before that show in my eyes. Well, I don't know if it was carbs or what. Is it? I mean, blew up. He kind of like what do you say? Blew, blew up or expanded? 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 Uh, not, not carbs or what? Yeah, you know. Look, when you when you look at the pictures from two days out, you know that's in the gym with the full pump. And Dennis talk about this all the time. Dennis fully pumped in a Colosseum gym with the chest and shoulders and triceps. And, Last, I mean, it was Mr. Olympia every time, right? But it's hard to translate that uh, on a stage. You know, oh, yeah, you yeah. don't have a gym there. You're not going to pump up like this. You're not going to be free minded. You know, so, so, but uh, uh, I was going to say something now. I've completely forgot. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's switch it over to Kian. Kian, other than Sean Clarita, who do you think is, uh, is in your way that you have, to, you have to beat in order to get to Sean? Is there anybody? <laughs> It's myself, man. I am so literally focused on myself. I just know what I'm capable of doing. And I, like I said, I know what I brought to Texas. And um, just with the feedback with Tyler. Um, what, did, with what, 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 what was the feedback, if you can share it with us? Um, he actually posted on the NPC News. But I think he mostly was saying my condition was the best that he had seen. Um, my legs was the biggest difference that he saw. My hams and glutes and quads. Um, overall, overall balance. He said he like he every, every, everything. Everything was good. Nothing negative. He just said if you want to beat Sean, you really have to, you know, really throw him. You have to really come in condition. That was his only feedback was yeah. his condition. He was like, when you're training in the gym, you need to think about condition. Um, so that was literally his only feedback. Yeah. So what just, what rep range are you training with right now? Um, right now, it's like between 8 and 12 reps. I switch up my training a lot. I used to train. My volume used to be extremely high. I used to do like four sets, sometimes five sets, a lot, a lot of drop sets. Um, I kind of lighten up the weight just a little bit, still heavy. But it's just more it's just more control. Um, but like I said, 8 to 12 to 15 reps. But I make those eight reps very fucking hard mm. to where I can't even go past 10. So um, I feel like that changed my physique a lot. When I sweat, switched up to that type of training, and that's pretty much what I've been sticking to this whole year. The other style was more like a Texas style, isn't it? Well, yeah, it was like more like the branch, Johnny, Guy, Cicerino's type of training. But, you know, I really had to think to myself, I was like, if I'm going to do this for a long time, I need to be smart, <laughs> be smart on my joints. Yeah. You know, be honest with myself. Like I want to be, I'm going to be a Mr. Olympia, and I want to, I want to hold that. So for me to hold that, I got to, be smart in the gym, not stupid. I can still train hard. I can still go in that dog mode, but I got to be smart about it. Mm. You know, not let, you know, control aggression. Sometimes I let my aggressions go too far in the gym to where I lose form. And, you know, that's how you hurt yourself. So I'm more controlling my aggression at the same time while I'm training. And seeing a huge difference. Pretty physique style. Yeah. Still training hard, trust me. You're still going hard. Just being smart. Uh, your your girlfriend is also a, a trainer, and she she showed you some moves and stuff. You know, last time we talked, you said your girlfriend is helping you with the training. Yes, yeah, she programmed all my training through the whole from the from the off season until now. Um, I gave her a lot of credit just you know from the changes I made, included for my legs. You guys seen what I brought to Texas, bro, and that was strictly from her training. I've been following her training program ever since. Okay, so Kian, for example, when I went uh, competing against Chris, I would analyze, oh, where can I possibly get Chris? 
And then I realized I can't really get him on anything unless he, 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 shows, up, he, he shows up often. He shaves on Friday. You know? but, you know, yeah. But if you uh, go now, pose by pose with the Sean Clarita, okay. Did you strategize how you're going to hit the pose? You visualize yourself, last call out, you and Sean, and, and hitting the poses. Which poses you can get him so you can emphasize to the judges, pay attention, and poses that you know you might lose, so you can take it and, and uh, get attention elsewhere. Why, why Did don't you analyze why, that? Why don't we go through it together, pose by <laughs> pose? Yeah. Sean Clarita okay. and Keon Pearson. Front double I biceps. See. Front double. Yes, yeah. Right now, front yeah. double bicep. Yeah. Myself all the way. Chris. Who's that? Front double. Sean Clarita and Keon. Who wins? Uh, Keon. Milos. Keon. I'm 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 yeah. with you guys. I'm with you. Front last spread, same thing. Same thing. So, yeah. Okay, so now we got the first two poses. Now, yeah. side chest. I will still give myself as long as I bring that that best condition. Just oh, we we like judging by we think I mean I <laughs> we judging by be, being being on to the top. I oh, mean, myself. Yeah. So, Milos. Yeah, I mean, listen, <laughs> on conditioning, right? So you can't see so much shape in the side chest pose. Yes, you can, but it's not like, oh, frontal, V taper, and all that. The side, the side chest is what? You're showing the hamstring, and they, they want to see. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about what uh, Tyler Mannion likes about side chest. But uh, Sean Clarita actually has a weak chest. He has a weak chest. Mm -hmm. It's visible when he does a, you know, most muscular pose, you can see that. So he cannot have a great full chest on the side, but he has a crazy shoulders, uh, arms, and hamstring. So he looks quite impressive. He positions and angles himself that he looks good. Keon can get him if, uh, like you say, Keon, if you are uh, greatly conditioned, you have a physique to beat him in that pose too. Right. Well, here's the thing. Like, you know, Sean's going to beat him in the abs. Uh, wait, wait. He can go, beat him go, one by one. one, okay. by one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, 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 and you know, and you know, it's gonna all come down to a, a conditioning thing. If he's, if he's just as conditioned, he's gonna win the show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. that, that 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 that's what we're saying. But now, <laughs> yeah, back double biceps. Back double biceps. Back double biceps. I give that. I will give it. A uh, he has more density. Sean has a dense ass basketball body. You were That's why they were saying that he kind of looks like, kind of reminds you of a Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. That density from the back can 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 beat a lot. Um, the last spread I would give to uh, Keon. I'll definitely say I'll, I'll have him on the west. From the, from from the, from the back well, spread. you have him size overall. I mean, if you guys stand next to each other, it's going to look like a, a bigger, taller guy against a shorter, smaller guy. You know, and 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 like I said. Um, Sean's been winning the Olympia not because he, you know, nobody else is good enough, but because he's really that good at his height. You yes. know, he in his, but it takes something. It takes someone like similar to him to beat him. You know, so and that's why I, I huh? Sean is so crazy conditioned, you know, super thin skin. Uh, super round muscle bellies popping out, you know, hardness, density. I mean, and he creates illusion. I was ripping him apart before saying that he is not wide, but then I, I watch him when he does a front relax and he creates illusion. I mean, you got to give it to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if Keon, beautiful shape, wider, you know, uh, shapelier, uh, bigger, it's not as conditioned. Now, uh, like Nathan was more conditioned than Regan. Mm -hmm. Okay, is now this uh, great conditioning worth that much to uh, beat somebody shapelier, bigger, maybe wider? All this stuff. You see, some sometimes goes this way. Yeah. Sometimes goes the other way. So Keon, you must be in condition of your lifetime. Uh, we already telling you, you are plenty big, and you're especially plenty big for Sean. So if you're going there, you know, with that mindset, you're going to be battling 180-pound guy, right? Uh, you out-muscle him already, but uh, now he can 
so far he out conditioned you in all, all the shows. So that should be your ticket to go yeah. into to just deep. That's what we're focused on. And you know, okay, let, let's tell one more thing because we all did this. So, uh, Dennis, do you agree that Chris, as great as he was and potentially Mr. Olympia, right? He was never ripped to the bone. Never. Shred. Well, well, not ripped to the bone. I've but, gotten hard. But, 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 but <laughs> not, yeah, yeah, Chris, yeah, we, we, I'm going to give you props. He, yeah. not, he was not ripped to the bone, but for his physique, his shape, it was the perfect combination. Yes. Yes, you know? and I liked it about. I said you don't have me, to be the most shredded guy on stage, but if you have, you that, have if be. you have all the factors and you can put them together in one body, you yeah. you, you can go out on top, you know, and 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 that was Chris. Chris didn't. He had standout body parts, yeah, and he had a flow that was just I don't know unbeatable. It was just unbeatable. But, but here, Kian, from little from our experiences, right? So you're welcome, you know, Chris. You? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from Pinto, right? <laughs> yeah. Coming from I was the... listening to. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but here, Kian. So <laughs> you competed many times already, right? And I know Very that funny. every show you were thinking, I just want to be shredded, ripped to the bone, right? I want to be the leanest I've ever been, right? And then along the way, you are there, and then you know you don't see okay. I have to continue. I really have to be cellophane skin, lose all the fat, suffer. When you already think that you suffer, that's when suffering just started. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go deeper, deeper, deeper to achieve that. You have perfect shape. You have enough muscle. You know, so it's just conditioning. But you got to get there. Don't stay in your comfort zone. Okay, okay. I've been here before. You have to go further where you've never been before. Mm -hmm. This is seven weeks for the Olympia, and you should speed it up. I mean, uh, get, like Dorian Yates used to be, like six weeks out, he can step on the goddamn stage. Uh, how did you, when you see him, uh, yeah. what kind of condition? For, for, yeah. for Keon, I would say that that last little bit of detail that you need is coming exactly what Chris said. It's coming from posing. You'd be surprised. If you, if you really, I don't know how much you pose every day or a week, but if you really, and I'm saying this because I was, a, I was a victim of not doing it myself. But if you pose every day, let's say for 30 to 45 minutes, just holding poses. And if it's just the mandatory poses, you, I'm, you don't even have to do the routine. Just hold the mandatory poses from top to bottom, bottom to top. You're going to get harder than you've ever been. Yeah. I mean, it's just extra cardio at the end of the day. Yeah. It, it's the squeezing of the muscle. I realized this the very first my first time that this works. I was still an amateur. I remember I was my first FIBO, 1993, where I Max Muscle Germany. They had a booth. It was a table, and they asked me to be. I was an amateur to be at the booth. I felt like I was this. I was the boss. So I stood there and I was hitting front double biceps for every photo. I did about 2,000 front doubles that day. I guarantee you. <laughs> I never had a split biceps in my life. That night, I had a split biceps. <laughs> I, I promise you. Yeah. That was it. Just from hitting the pose. Over and yeah. over Joe and Wheeler over. Huh? Yeah. Joe Wheeler was always on all of us. Pose, pose, pose. Yeah. Hypertension, you know. You just keep posing. Uh, That's I don't, thing. I don't tell you. And you know, Keon, when you when you get into your shots, like don't wait for other people to, to hit their shots. If you get into your shot and you're holding that front of a bicep, all those cuts are gonna come in deeper and deeper and deeper as you hold them, as you're accumulating seconds on top of these other guys still trying to get into some kind of stand, stepping side yeah. by side. But but you, you know, gotta practice it because if you don't practice the holding the poses, you're gonna be on stage and you fade after one round. So you yeah. have to practice in order not to fade because you saw what happened in Texas with, uh, with uh, Andrew yeah. and Hunter. At the end, when, they, when it's close, they're going to make you work so much until one of them fades, gives up, or passes the fuck out. And, and there's another thing and is a way you, to you got, your Your job is to make sure it's not going to be you. Right.
Yeah, it's a way to hit your poses after you train. You want to check yourself out. Maybe maybe add a, a different technique or something to each pose or whatever poses. And then there's a way to just be a dog in the posing room and to just, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, just get to that, that next level physically and mentally right now. It's a whole nother way, a whole nother level. There's levels to that. There's levels to your intensity in the gym. It's levels to your intensity in your repetitions. It's always right. going to be another level you can get to. 100%. That's your job. Own it. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to tell you something else. I just got the phone call from uh, Samson last night, right? And I, I never seen Samson so happy and so motivated and everything. He went to Pittsburgh to see uh, Jim and Tyler Mannion. Is, uh, all yeah, the guys. Yeah. And he says, first of all, he says he has never seen more passionate and enthusiastic uh, people about bodybuilding than Jim and, uh, and Tyler. Tyler. I don't know. Did he change that last spread or not? From the back. Yeah, they're, they're, so let me, let me, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> but but first I said like look uh Samson, uh he posed for Jim. This is like us uh, you know posing for Joe Wheeler back in the day. That's once in a lifetime opportunity. And Jim would tell you exactly, you know, uh, what he sees, he's gonna tell you it, 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 as good as it gets. So he goes, I learned so much, and then you know, basically he goes. Almost every pose, they corrected him, and he can't believe how much better he looks. Okay? And that's so they, Jim and the Tyler was on a Skype or whatever. Somehow, you know, he says he wasn't there. He couldn't make it. Who? Uh, the Tyler. Oh, Tyler, right? Tyler was somewhere on a beach proposing. Did you guys see that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah by, by the way, congratulations, Tyler. Congratulations. Tyler and, uh, yeah. 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 He was proposing. Yeah. He's on an island somewhere, for sure. Yeah. Hey, but, but get this. Samson got to New York, and they canceled his flight to Pittsburgh. There was uh, no other flights, okay? So he wanted to rent a car. He can't rent a car. He wanted to get a hotel. He couldn't get a hotel. <laughs> you know, so uh, Fuad drove from Pittsburgh seven hours, picked him up, and drove him right back. You know, so that that's that's a story. You know, hmm. uh, I have to give it to you. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, Keon. I'm actually heading out there uh, at five weeks out to pose for them. You gotta yes. do what you gotta do. Whatever. And, it takes. and listen, because uh, they they know exactly uh, what they're looking for, and they're gonna yep. tell you what they're looking for. You know, for example, so I was telling uh, Samson besides his Lee Haney from the Vices. With a vacuum, which by the way is, is your killer shot, and you have to do it. That's exactly what they're looking for. I was telling Samson, do like kind of what Andrew Jack does, like a little bit twisted with the abs. I said, no, 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 we don't want to see that. Even though I like it, you know, to throw in as an additional, they don't like it. And so, no, I don't think it's good for his physique. Yeah. I think it looks good for I, look, I think it looked good on Jack. I don't, I don't yeah, think Jack it looks good. good. He has more like a like you say that Lee Haney, fucking round uh, muscle shape that that's nice. And I tell you what though, everybody can be put on notice that he get his back better and better. That's yes, that's gonna be the last thing he needs to do in his physique. And side chest, uh, Jim likes old fashioned way. Arnold, stay tall, chest up, not. Uh, Milos bullshit when I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was completely no, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler was Milos was talking Milo, like he wants to whip, right? Milos made a front most muscular out of the side chest. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, you cut the space, you know. But it's but okay, it's it's okay to turn a little bit. What say about the last bit in the back? Yeah, but like Samson has a crazy chest, right? And uh, crazy chest would look crazy in the side chest pose. You don't need to turn around and, and try to, you know, cover his face. Yeah, so he, he learned a lot. And he was like, oh, back down biceps, they told him what to do. And he, he said he couldn't believe how much wider he looked. So there you go. Yeah. What about the last? Keon, yeah, uh, go there enthusiastic and uh, with open mind because you're going to learn something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. And that's honestly giving me even extra motivation to, you know, yeah. get in better shape just for, you know, for that too. So, gotta take a flight, take a flight. 
Do what you got to do. Yeah. Keon, you're staying in Dallas, right? No, I'm in Vegas hey. now. Oh, you're in Vegas now. Hey, yeah, I'm in Vegas now. So I'll be here oh. for a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you, oh, but you didn't you didn't move to Vegas. You just you just there. No, I moved to Vegas. I live, I oh. live here. I live here. Yeah. Since since when? Um, honestly, I've been here since I think March or so. It's been about like five oh, six months. Oh, this year. Okay, okay. So yeah. so where do you train? You train at uh, Dragon's Lair? Um, it was at Elevation, but now I'm at Dragon's Lair. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you change Lair. now? I don't know for whatever reason. I thought you in Dallas. Yeah, what now? You changed them now. Yeah, um, I'm one of those people where when I prep, I like to switch environments. I can't stay in the one same gym for the whole entire season. I have to, like, switch it up. So elevation for Texas, and I like dragons, you know, being around flex and being around that gym. It's, uh, I don't know, it just feels it just feels different when you walk in dragons. Mm. I guess the amount of just, you know, the type of people that walked in the gym. So I love it. You know, yeah. nobody bothers me. It's usually empty. So what made you move? What? what? Huh? Sorry, did, did Flex give you some tips? Flex? Yeah. Did he give you for, some tips? For as in... I mean, did he saw you pose and give you some tips, no? I ain't, we ain't posed since <laughs> when he was coaching me. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, you're thinking of a two different oh, flex. About Lewis. Oh, flex yeah, flex. yeah, yeah. Not Flex, flex Lewis. Lewis. Flex no, Lewis. Lewis. No, 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 no. We just, we just have like a lot of talks. We haven't posed yet. I'm still waiting on that. Uh, he's been super busy. I, I'm always, I, I miss him a lot. Or he's even doing a podcast or something like that. So he's honestly yeah, hard. I don't hardly see him when I go out there. I check you out when I get out there, man. I got a, I got a little gym situation out there with uh, Anytime Fitness, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll swoop in there sometime. Come on, man! I'm 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 pretty much staying here for the whole time. So you let me know. So Chris, you moving? You, are you moving? You gonna plan I, I plan on moving uh, by the next by the early next year? I think yeah. I might have to make a. Everybody everybody wants to every, a flag in the in the sand out there. Everybody wants to move to Vegas. I mean, Vegas will bore the shit out of me, man. No, yeah. I'd like to go back and forth. I'm not. Well. I'm not talking about the strip, but you can't be I on like the to strip. Go back and forth. You can't be on the strip all day. When I drive out, this, <laughs> this whole fucking thing looks sad. There's no trees. <laughs> there's nothing. I thought I had it bad here in Arizona. Every time I come for Vegas, I feel like I'm going back in the jungle. <laughs> what are you talking about? You got a fortress of. I know. That's what. That's but that, I, I, I wouldn't even leave my house if I were you. <laughs> But uh, that's that's what I'm saying. Phoenix. When I go the last time I've been to Vegas, I was, I was you know with Milos and and we drove to that sushi place. By the way, he probably took you to the same place. That's a badass yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, I was uh, rocking. That. I was rocking with the sushi with uh, Milos. If it, listen, if I would say, listen, let's go to we move to Vegas, she would fucking divorce me before she would move to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you. They were, they were watching like, okay, where are the trees? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it looks like it, it, right there. it, it <laughs> looks like it looks like it, the whole fucking thing went the whole state went through a wildfire and everything is just gone. For me, it's boring. It's really boring. Bro, you ain't gotta leave your house or shit. Yeah. You yeah, that damn thing. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Shit. Yeah, so so Chris, so you so you plan on moving to Vegas next year? I I think I think I'm gonna get a spot out there, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, so you're just gonna get a spot? So you gotta go back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's, that's gonna. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> that's dangerous. Oh, I said say, business. It's hey, a lot of business out there, though. Say it's bye, a, everybody. Say bye bye to Chris. <laughs> if he, it's if, a lot of business out there. If D. you just get a spot in Vegas, it's a lot of business out there, D. I know, I know, but that still worries me, to be honest. Nah, you took now. Nah, that's you too, uh, get too close to the strip. <laughs> that's it. That shit's too close. Too close to Dre's. No, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, I got I got a lot of stuff I got cooking, man. Okay, a lot of stuff. awesome. Yeah, yeah uh, So, listen, I can't wait. I can't wait to see uh, 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 Keon finally yeah. nail it to the point where he looks like an unbeatable champ. Because you have, what, what, here's what I wanted to ask you because you, I, I see this, I saw this on myself too. That, Minos, did you realize that gap between the abs? Yeah. What yeah, is I, it? I talk, what yeah, is it? Uh, I mean, this is the uh, first genetically, right? That's, uh, you know, what you look like. 
and then he for some people he could spread start spread out. Yeah. Yeah. spreading yeah what I told the <coughs> Dion, yeah, I really think about uh, and uh, I kind of seen this with Chris Chris knows how to control Dennis you knew how to pull your waist yeah and, yeah, and, yeah yeah but you so can't you do that exactly but you have to practice this uh, all the time pull it in squeeze and then try to bring your abdominals like surgeon Bray did at uh, pumping iron when you look at it his abs are moving in moving in so uh, I think I told you Kian right to try to look in front of the mirror and try to move them closer and there, there is a way that you can you can control them yeah. and move them closer it's literally just when you let it go then yeah. It, yeah. it wants to open up you know because yeah. I saw that, I saw that, and I saw that for a couple of years, and it, it is spreading if he lets go. But if he control it, yeah. yeah, it's it's not an issue, you know. So, yeah, that's why like, when I'm sitting down and stuff, I I try I keep my abs flex. I don't keep my stomach relaxed. Right. Uh, so that's yeah. pretty much my goal. Because I know as I get bigger, my abs are going to get bigger. A lot of people, well, I always accuse me my whole life of yeah. doing shit. But I mean, I have a picture when I was. 14 in the hallway with my shirt off and my abs look the same just yeah. now. Do you, you know? do you train your abs still? Uh, I used to train abs, but honestly, I had stopped. So I've just been really incorporating just more vacuums. Just said, that's uh, it. Why, why do you stop training your abs? Chris, could, uh, could, could training abs help in this situation? I, I think it's not so much using a lot of weight. I think it's more, more or less getting that connection and getting, I mean, you know, connecting with your mind, you be able, you can utilize and you can move your abs like uh, Milos was saying. You can, you can, I, I wouldn't not touch them. I would, I'd be touching on them. Okay, I, I can speak from my experience when it comes to this. Not training abs is going to make it worse for you to be able to hold it on stage for a longer period. Training abs on a regular, I'm not saying daily, but let's say every other day, could you know, contracting and feeling it helps yeah. you on stage to control your abs and knowing where you don't have to touch to see if they're there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It helps a little bit. I think it helps with controlling your abs on stage. Milos, what do you think? Because I know you trained a lot of abs. Absolutely. Listen, yeah, the, I would do uh, three supersets before the workout, religiously, every workout, uh, hanging leg raises, high pulley cable crunches, right? And sometimes I would throw the twists. Mm. But these two, if you do the three supersets, it's like six, seven minutes. Mm. You know, that's how, how long it, it takes. Yes, do it at okay. the end of your workout and sometime before Four you... weeks out, I would do uh, three sets before, three sets after, each and every day. But I also told this to everybody, to you, Dennis, and to everybody else, glue your stomach to the spine and keep it there even right now, uh, talk, uh, talking. So you, you got to feel that what we were talking, abs in and glue to the spine. And now stay like this all day long. Don't let it go. You know, first day is going to be hard. The first gonna be it's going to be hard the first year. <laughs> yeah, but, but you get used yeah. to it. I'm yeah. serious. Yeah, it's like, it's like training. It's the same thing, yeah. It is. It, it just, what do we want to see? Small, tight waist, big upstairs. You know, not bubbly gut and also breathing and all this stuff. The only way you're going to manage to control, as Danny said, Besides training and keeping it tight, my muscle, as Chris says, feeling it, but keep it glued all day long. I mean, right now, you have no reason to do it. I mean, I've been squeezing my abs this whole podcast. I'm sweating under the shirt already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting the most muscular. <laughs> Chris, are you still training? Are you still, are you back in? Yeah, I'm still training. You training yeah. every day? Uh, yeah, I took a, I stumbled a little bit, but I got back in there. So when are we gonna get together? And I got my I, when? I to, when are we gonna get together guy. for that video? I'm coming flying out there today, man. For what? Uh, I'm gonna be there till Friday. I'll be there till Friday. I Friday. know, but are you training while you're here? Do it. Yeah, I'm gonna train. Where? Um. Oh, oh, you gonna do this battle with uh, with uh, Natalia? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow. So it is the battle is tomorrow because I want to get you guys and bring you guys to the gym, the new gym, the new fitness one. I'll be out there. I'm flying out there. I'll be out there around six, five o'clock, six. O'clock. Yeah, not not tonight, but you guys filming tomorrow. Right. You guys filming on Thursday too? Only three, only until noon. Okay, so, so be, maybe I can get you. Thursday. Maybe I can get you guys tomorrow after the filming, 
and then yeah. bring bring you down to train. Uh, we yeah, we 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 gonna film early in the morning. We finish around noon. So oh cool, yeah um, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk. I'll talk to, to Natalia. Marlena. I talked to Marlena from Stem Cell uh, from a bio. What's it called? Oh, Man bio. Manuela. Manuela. Oh, yeah. oh I said. You, oh. you talked to her? Yeah, I talked to her, and we we got a we have a thing on Thursday. You have a Zoom call? No, Wednesday. We got one thing. We got thing on Wednesday. So how how you? Yeah, we got, you, yeah, we got a, a appointment. Yeah. So did you feel? Hey, you, you, do you fill out you your phone or you forget it, man? Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You oh, fill talk. you fill out the paperwork. We got an appointment with each other tomorrow. We're gonna do it tomorrow. Did you fill out the paperwork? That's she just had me do do the do the uh, uh, interview thing tomorrow for like thirty minutes. She said. Oh, okay. Because then you still have to do the paperwork though. And this yeah. time, this this do it. And yeah. I'm, well, tr I'm tried, trying. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get Grant to come on. And you know, even if it's just Dorian, for a couple, a couple of minutes, maybe next week or the week after, where we, I want to introduce him to Milos and Yeah, Dorian had hollered at him too, so they sent me another email. But the emails I got, the the thing is not there anymore. So, okay, I'll well, talk to homegirl. Well, I'm ready to do it, man. Yeah, I'd be great to feel better, man. Shit, you still in pain? Um, just the, like the numbness in my my big toe. I don't know. If it's from the oh, that's it. That and uh, yeah, I mean, just my shoulders. Oh, I need that shoulder back so I can get up under that four hundred five again. You know, you don't want to do all that. I did. <laughs> hey, I, I benched. I benched yesterday. You know what I was doing? I was doing nice two plates, 15, yeah. 15 reps. That's I can it. Do two plates, I'll be happy. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You, you, that, shoulders are that bad. Yeah, oh, I did it when I was in when I when COVID started. I was in uh, Australia. <clears throat> I was body surfing and I and I wiped out, hit the ground. <laughs> you were doing what? Stuff. You were doing yeah. what? <laughs> I was body <laughs> like I'm 15. <laughs> body surfing in the waves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thinking I was doing something. Yeah. Never again. <laughs> that's like, I'm not going past my kneecaps in the water again. That's yeah. like that's like me trying to fucking what was it? Uh, 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 water ski, water ski. I was I visit my friends in Fort Myers and they they rented this Airbnb, this house, uh, and they had a boat attached to the house, you know. And they let that boat. We get on that boat. We go out, and then. Uh, the water ski. I said, "Yeah, hey, let me try, man. Let me get on there with the water ski." I had to, and I'm from the water. It's different if you stand on the platform and you say, "Let's go." <clears throat> so I'm in the water, and I can right. yeah, put your feet, put the the ski got to stick out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, I was like, "Go!" And I'm, oh, and I'm squeezing. And I'm trying to push myself up, and a pow, busted my fucking hamstring. I said, "Pull me back, oh, pull, me, pull me back in the goddamn boat, man. This shit's <laughs> This shit is over." <laughs> It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah. It's just too no many. No more. No more. That was it. I didn't even make it out the water, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Wish you think you could still do some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I used to downhill ski in uh, in Switzerland and all that shit. Now I can't even think about it no more. Uh, I just been but then again, now now I'm much lighter, so maybe now I'm good, I'm good for it again. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> Milos, I mean, you know. How much weight did you lose while you're there? Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't train since the car accident, so I, I'm like, I don't want to step on the scale. But uh, everybody in the family asks, like, what's happening? Well, you know, why are you looking like this? I mean, I'm like, <laughs> what <laughs> yeah, what happened? Like, oh shit! Yeah, but, I want you to be Superman but, still. But they know yeah. you almost. They know you're almost sixty, right? Yeah, I know. But uh, listen, I, I wanted to do the jack 60 thing but i'm gonna have to do jack 61. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening this year yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah as you guys are talking about this uh, uh australians and uh, surfing and whatever i was uh, having my training camp at the uh, gold coast and, oh, yeah, uh, and with all the guys we went on the on the beach and like went pretty far and then helicopter came and it's like get out of the shock, water. Shock, shock, great white. Oh, and that's my biggest fear, right? And then I, 
I pedaled out. I, I would why would you? Do. Why would you? <laughs> hey, if this is your biggest fear, you know Australia. This is where they at. This, yeah. this goddamn well, sharks. They the live right. So no, this. I, the see, I, I don't. Right get, I, don't, I don't give a fuck. I know this is Australia. I'm going they to the right beach. There. I'm going knee deep. If I want to go all the way in, I lay down. When it's knee deep, that's it. I'm not going any further. Fuck that. Hey, I go to my pool and I think of the sharks. They got some fucking got. hungry sharks over there, man. I've, I've seen it before. They got helicopters all day just watching, you know? And them damn sharks over there, they don't come five, six foot. They come 12 to 15. You're ready to go, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, I would never go out there. On a board? Last time you've been to Australia, Dennis? <laughs> Last time was uh, before COVID. Yeah, me too. Uh, I flew right before. Yeah. Right, right there when COVID started, I was still there. I was there for like three months. Yeah, uh, I was there. I was there seven months a year. Shit. 2006, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I was more damn in Australia than anywhere else. Hmm. That's right. I didn't know that. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I opened a, I opened a gym with, with a partner over there in 2015, Nitro Gym. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was Have good. There, it was good. No, I've never been out there. Only place I've never been. never been out there? Yeah, yeah, I've just been to Sweden, and um, I got a few trips coming up after Olympia. Yeah. Uh, it's time so. It's time to travel, man, because you need to spread the, you you need to spread bodybuilding. Oh, yeah. Well, I just, I just uh, got a opportunity to be in South Korea, so I'll be out there in January for a seminar. Um, so I'll be out there. Yeah, you got to um, shake some hands, bro. See, it's just too bad. Yeah. It's, it's just too bad that this year the Olympia is on, on November 3rd and 4th because it's literally... I have a show at the end last weekend in October in Germany, always. And I usually bring all kind of athletes to the show, you know, as VIP guests, you know, just because fans want to see, it, want to interact. And this year I, I had my same date and then they moved the Olympia to a week after. Of course, none of these guys is available a week before because most of them are already in the States, you know, so it's hard, you know, because I, I, I would like to bring guest posers, you know. But uh, I guess it has to wait. Has to wait till next year. But what are you doing in? Uh, no, what are you doing November eleventh? Um, a week after the Olympia. Oh, I got a uh, guest pose. Oh, okay. I have, I have like two guest poses back to back after the. Uh, after the Olympia. The Olymp yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. They already caught me, locked me in about <laughs> beginning of this year already. Yeah. Could you know, can yeah. you believe, Milos, can you believe that it's hard to find guest poses? What do you mean? Well, yeah, people I mean, don't really like to do it. Like we, if it's the same, if it's same offer, I mean, yeah. that's that's a major money maker for us back in the day, right? Yeah, you know, if, if you can do it. So everybody declines or the, the offer? Most of them decline. Like, Most of them decline before you yeah, even negotiate. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I literally yeah, have, I, I literally trying to get in contact and I contacted a few guys, especially in, in Germany, Europe, and nobody can give me an answer because I don't know, because I might do this, I might do that. Then I was like, I don't know, understand how people that are in shape don't fucking want to take this money to guest post. And when you, when you got to drive maybe an hour, you know what I'm saying? Those are things that I, I just never understand. And it's just different nowadays, I guess. People make money with Instagram or TikTok or whatever they do, and they think guest posing is not interesting no more. Do you, do you they for, they forget that this is not for for you or for it's for the fans, the fans that follow you that want to see you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I guess yeah, yeah. Yeah. One, one week after the Olympia. Olympia. Can you imagine? Said so he said yeah. Keon one week after the Olympia. Can you imagine what that looks like? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Keon at think, Keon at two think, at two uh, Keon at two twenty five. <laughs> <Keon 225. laughs> I've been over two twenty one. I yeah. know, but right after the Olympia, shit. If you put some carbs back in, you you would you would you would easily gain 10, 15 pounds. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep it nice and tight, and yeah, maybe two twenty lean. That'd be a great to do a guest post. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do consider you a real bodybuilder, Keon. I do appreciate that. Yeah, uh, you're not like a social media bodybuilder. You're a, you're a real, real bodybuilder, brother. Who who is social media? No, I said there's some social media bodybuilders that that they read they 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 better off just 
focused in on that more so than trying to to win this title type of mentality. Do we, do we have any names we can mention? Yeah, Nick Walker <laughs> called the Regan Instagram bodybuilder. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, he's really yeah, good he, at it. He's really he's good at his social media for sure. So yeah, he's good at what he's doing. I mean, he's doing a one hand booty hold on the on the on the. Uh... Hey, that has a twenty million. <laughs> I know. I say that's what I'm saying. That's good. Hey, explain that twenty million views. Maybe more actually. Yeah, you, know, you think it's because of Regan? Is it is it because of is it, though, right? is it because of Regan or because of the ass? Who got the views? <laughs> or yeah, I, by the way, he, I, by the way, I didn't see the video. It like a bowling ball, or what was that? How was he doing? <laughs> I don't know how to do it, but uh, anyway, yeah. Listen, uh, was who, like but that? who comes up with the ideas for those videos? I mean, I have no clue. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a question mark. I think a lot of guys are doing it now. You know, yeah. I, I heard there was many accidents too. Of course. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Well, well, uh, that boom. will that will bring us to the end, guys. I, we, we gotta we gotta excuse Keon because I know he's probably hungry right now, ready to eat. Oh, she's making me a meal right this now. This is making it right now, Keon. Man, I appreciate you making the time, brother. And uh, I, I wish you, you guys I wish you. Uh, 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 injury-free last seven weeks. Give it everything you got. Pose. Do what you got to do. That's the only thing you have to do. You know, you got to yeah. be selfish right now. You can't think about nothing else around you. This is it. You going to the Olympia to win. You know, yeah. because I need. I know Sean Clarita. I know is 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 locked in like a fucking scut missile, man. I'm I'm 100 convinced, and I'm trying to get him on before the Olympia what too. To do. Yeah, so and you know. I'm glad you got a good, solid home life and everything's quiet, kept, and uh, just time to Take focus on you, man. I'm, I'm glad for you, brother. Thank awesome. you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you guys for having me on here. And, awesome. Um, next awesome. time I can talk to you guys on here. Anytime. Maybe we can get you back on after the Olympia. Yeah, yeah we can go after the Olympia. We can yeah. maybe catch up, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks before. I'm down. Get you to pose a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks, man. Right. I appreciate it. Right, Chris, thank you. Peace. Right, guys, man. I'll see you guys. All right.